welcome to the new episode of the True Spectrum project and today we have Elena as a guest. She's the owner of Diversity United, an NGO in Athens and also an artist who implements a lot of different projects. And I thought that today for the interview about the value of our True Spectrum project, namely uh, Synergy, she will be a perfect guest because her uh, organization is actually the one which exemplifies Synergy for me because she connects with different vulnerable groups and different generally groups of people through her projects. And um, yeah, let's start by introducing yourself. Thank you so much for inviting me. So I'm uh, Elena Zervopoulou, French Greek. Um, um, I studied ethnopsychology and uh, visual anthropology, filmmaking in Paris. Uh, I'm saying this because I was uh, supporting um, second uh, generation uh, kids and, and with their families uh, with this ethnopsychological approach in Paris and also the later refugees uh, in South Italy and now in Greece and uh, as a filmmaker I, I, as a director I made um, conceived directed and produced uh, documentaries creative documentaries on uh, that raise awareness on uh, human rights, uh, social inclusion, environmental sustainability. I started from um, Southeast Asia um, with the Sea Gypsies that went around uh, with BBC around 200 uh, countries to, to talk about. It was in a called uh, White Poverty, the, um, the group of, of films they were showing. Um, I will not expand on that, it's mm -hmm. a long story, no. <laughs> but ma then I mainly made a lot of social documentaries and uh, VR films and uh, interdisciplinary site-specific performances also. Uh, so when I arrived in Athens um, a few years ago, in 21, end of 21, I think, I created Diversity United, which is an NGO that empowers uh, vulnerable communities, especially women and uh, youth uh, from forced migration backgrounds, uh, which means, as we call them, refugees. Um, and outside of uh, Europe, we work more with uh, indigenous people. So the idea is we empower them through art and culture. Uh, they participate in our participatory art workshops with uh, this ethnopsychological therapeutic approach. And uh, they learn uh, skills in uh, video, video making, uh, photography, physical theater, performance, dance, and um, music, yeah. And through that process, uh, allowing them to, to express themselves and give them voices, they, uh, they, they feel better, their self-esteem is uh, uh, increased, and uh, they can relate better to each other and to the rest of society, and they're empowered to, to have a normal life, the normal life they deserve and they dream of. Uh, so we, that was the first part of what Diversity United does. The second part is that with the participation of the refugees and vulnerable communities, uh, inspired by their stories and their collective stories, I, I direct uh, projects that can be documentaries or VR films or performances, interdisciplinary performances or concerts where they participate, of course, and uh, we use them as a tool to raise awareness on uh, human rights, social inclusion, uh, climate and social justice and um, it is a way to have their voice being heard to the broader local community mm -hmm. and international and the third pillar we have is a uh, social innovation and we do that by creating cross-media interactive platforms online where people can it's like cultural projects where people can interact and discover uh, a non-linear storytelling and a, a through multimedia that are created in our participatory workshops they discover like again a collective story of an emotional journey of uh, this group of refugees we work with and we also create um, platforms or apps that can accelerate social change and bring together you know create the bridge between these vulnerable communities and uh, uh, broader mm -hmm. local communities international ones uh, other ones for environmental sustainability so it's like more using the technology for social and climate good, I would say. Mm. Yeah, that was in brief. Yeah. Really. Thank you so much. What would you say was your motivation to create this organization? So my motivation to create Diversity United was um, after having made uh, some social films that talk about these issues of, you know, uh, vulnerable communities and uh, 
social injustice and um, relating a lot to people that are very humble and uh, sometimes are, are more marginalized in the society sometimes uh, I, I with, the, with the films I, I want to you know to evaluate their traditional knowledge their uh, raise their self-esteem and, and uh, make the world know how valuable they are here and how we can learn from them whether they're indigenous people or marginalized communities in our modern societies so I felt that there was a way to to do participatory uh, artistic workshops with them, with this kind of community. So I, I put together this ethnopsychological approach I have and art and um, various artistic expressions so that they can... Actually, it's very cathartic when they can express themselves in any even if they are not professionals in any art uh, form. Yeah. So I wanted to, to work uh, deeply with uh, people that have amazing stories to share and that are, uh, well, that are non-professionals and that have a unique insight and uh, storytelling that I will help them bring out by also empowering them and leaving them something mm. sacred inside that they can value and make uh, space for themselves in society mm -hmm. so that's how I uh, yeah it's very I would say it's very precious and rewarding to work this way because you uh, build very strong bonds with the people and the creative process is always amazing but working with non-professionals that comes from, from so fragile and, and difficult um, experiences and have their resilience emerge. That's what what I'm interested about. What what brings us together as a larger human community? It's uh, resilience and human values, and so allowing it to emerge and value it and put it into artistic value. I think it's it's very nice for them and for the cultural outcome also. Yeah, yeah for sure. Thank you for your insightful answer. And the next question will be actually about synergy, mm -hmm. which I think you already mentioned in this one a lot about the synergies you are creating uh, with uh, different communities through your projects. How do you see the notion of synergy and how exactly do you create synergies with different uh, communities, different people all around the world? Very nice question again. So uh, how do I see... Synergy is okay. I'm wearing grace. It's a Greek word. It's together, energies together. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we think that... So we, we work, we collaborate together and... Um, I think it's very nice when we bring our our unique um, skills, vibes, uh, energies, let's say, uh, in a collective uh, creative process or production process. It's always very nice because we learn from each other. Um, I'm very interested in always in uh, many diff people from different cultures in different perspectives also. So even my colleagues, our team is quite multicultural mm -hmm. and uh, it's always um, uh, enriching it's enriching for our projects it's enriching for society also to um, to value these uh, synergies among people that seem different so in the same way likewise um, I like to create synergies with people that seem to be socially a bit separated but this is what we need to fight for to 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 create bridges and to just you know, humanly come together close and, and uh, value each other and um, value each other for our um, personal stories, our personal qualities and uh, and forget about our identities and whatever br brings us apart, right? So it's, it's really how I see um, the people I work with, uh, with the, the friends, that they become friends, uh, uh, people from refugee backgrounds, you know, they they have a name, they have a story, they're amazing people, it's so touching to work with them and uh, and I wish I can uh, put all that in what comes, in what we share with the world in the performance, I, I, I think they kind of feel it, they're kind of emotional because they're true, based on true feelings and people and uh, yeah, there are these kind of synergies with these um, different uh, kind of social and cultural groups as we would say but uh, there can be synergies between organizations as well between 
different countries, between municipalities and local authorities. So it's it's very nice to to see how people have a common vision and try to work together. I just it's just an example. I just come back from a meeting with a, a city hall of Athens where they create a festival where they really cared about having um, people from diverse backgrounds coming to to the concerts or performance they do there and so we're, we're going to propose some as well but they do them in open public space where also in neighborhoods where you have people from diverse backgrounds and uh, they also care like like we care in, in diversity united like everybody should care to, to bring people together in open spaces and and get to know each other because once we know each other on a personal level we we don't need all this masks and uh, prejudice about groups and mm -hmm. differences, right, that keep us apart. So I think synergies are, uh, they should be normal in a way. It's, it's nice because you make me think and verbalize about all that, but um, there should be something, yeah, that we shouldn't be thinking about, like what we do with friends or potential friends. We try to, to do things together, to dream together, act together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for your answer. And uh, in the first part of this synergy episode, I mentioned that for me also the form of voluntary engagement is a synergy. So how I engage with different kind of uh, organizations by doing volunteering for them, I feel like it's also very useful because it brings me a lot, but it also can bring other organizations a lot since I see the diversity within this NGO world. And I feel like it's very, very profound way to create synergy because with jobs, we normally do it for money or for like some kind of materialistic reasons as well, but volunteering is mainly done for impact. And it's, I think that synergies in the form of volunteering or doing like um, NGO work are one of the most powerful, I would say. And I want to ask, what does it mean to you to engage with people on a voluntary basis? I want to thank you so much because uh, you're uh, a concrete example of this uh volunteer engagement and how impactful it can be in, uh, in uh, our work and in, uh, in what we want to, to share with the world. So it really, thank you so much. Okay. And it is also a learning process for us because we, we see how important it is. It, it is also very precious to see that, you know, young professionals do care about uh, offering time and, and knowledge and, and uh, work together, right? on a cause and uh, it's very fulfilling also because you know we we're not alone in this we're trying to make things better it's very nice i, I see a lot of hope among um, young people and um, a lot of care a lot of potential a lot of skills also that are you know uh, have evolved a lot from our from our times it's it's like that we had evolved from the times of our parents but it's always evolving uh, so yeah, I think it's really valuable to be able to to work with volunteers and um, also to to be able to to leave something to them that they can so, something that makes them feel good also about what they offered and you know something that makes them feel useful because each one has different skills and different passions. So it's very nice that we try to orient that in the best way for them and also for our projects and uh, it's a um, it's a gift i would say right because of course we don't have all this uh, we're not like a big corporate organization so and we do things that you know try to to make things better for everyone from our uh, yeah, point of view or from with our strengths have their limits as well so joining forces is always a very empowering mm -hmm. yeah Thank you so much. As I mentioned, uh, for me, the volunteering synergy uh, with different organizations has two main points of impact. So the impact I can create for organizations, but also the impact on my life and on my skills, on my professional, personal development. And I would say that Diversity United uh, had one of the biggest impacts on the actual my own um, project, the True Spectrum, because I feel like I learned a lot how to manage the organization on multiple levels of operations, and it was very, very useful. And uh, I feel like it was one of the points of change for our project, because after this experience, I'll definitely um, implement a lot of new insights and ideas I gained through it. 
And when I first uh, told you about this initiative and we had a very insightful discussions and we realized that we actually have a lot of in common between our projects and one of the things was the diverse stories of people, diverse uh, perspectives, diverse background. So as a last question, uh, why would you say that diversity is important and uh, which impact can it um, bring to people if they get exposed to various stories from various backgrounds, from various people? First of all, I want to thank you so much because you have been an amazing uh, colleague and volunteer, you know, not only your skills, your passion, your creativity, your organization. Uh, I'm very happy that you feel that, uh, you know, something was helpful also for your project and I'm, I'm very, you know, happy to see young people like you that are engaged and social issues and, and also engaged in uh, pursuing their projects and uh, making them happen instead of leaving them there. Mm -hmm. So it's really amazing. I'm looking forward to see this project grow and, uh, and uh, shine. And uh, the more important thing is that you keep on doing it. And it is, I think, also important to share uh, diverse uh, stories of people, uh, like we, we do also with diverse forms of expression. Like I said, uh, it can be performance or films or uh, music. But the thing is, when you do it also verbally, like you do it very specifically like that, um, I think people can engage with uh, uh, others that seem so diverse, but in the end they might discover they have more things in common than not. It can be a way to um, bring down um, uh, prejudice, right? Because usually we're afraid of uh, difference and diversity because we don't know it. So once we get to know a person or hear his personal story, have the access to this uh, true uh, insightful story, then we, we are no longer afraid of it because it's not unknown anymore. And we can see actually, if we join the dots, a common, a common space where we can all feel part of the greatest uh, humanity, uh, you know, where we just all want to coexist and be happy and create something valuable for our children. And, our planet so uh, I think diversity is very enriching in our own personal lives and the collective intelligence in the community and it's very nice to be able to share uh, stories of diversity and uh, thank you for doing that thank you so much I think it's a great um, conclusion for our episode on synergy thank you all for watching and thank you so much for also allowing me to gain this invaluable experience in your organization. I'm sure that the impact of it is huge and I wish your organization to grow further and to expand the reach and to change this world. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're wonderful and I hope more people, more young people uh, get inspired and just uh, follow their dreams and make their little, the little change they can make in their environment. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>